uh, this is the first screen that you'll see um, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over here to settings then go over here to network and uh, connect your internet um, in this case we're going to be doing Wi-Fi if you're doing Ethernet you can do Ethernet so you have to click on Wi-Fi to turn it on and then uh, click your Wi-Fi network and then where it says password you want to click and type in your password after you type it in press done and then go down to connect now okay it says Wi-Fi connected and uh, how you can test if you really are connected is just go down here to the globe and this is going to take you on the internet browser you should see Google pop up okay so after you're connected um, what you want to do is go down here to where it says the K that's for Cody Cody's the same as XBMC they just changed the name of XBMC to Cody so just click on the K right here and uh, that's how you start it up or XBMC now uh, your box comes already programmed so you guys don't even have to do anything um, and uh, you can see this screen just press uh, dismiss it's just a little announcement so when you first come in here uh, you're gonna see add-ons on the bottom right hand corner updating and it may take a second to get started but like just uh, you'll see that happen that's normal I went back now the first thing that you guys need to know see on the bottom right here these are just shortcuts to add-ons just like you bookmark stuff on your computer so that's all those are and to get to the main list add ons just go under videos and click on add-ons you see here's a thumbnail view of all add-ons I usually like a different view so if you go to the top left hand corner right here and click left on your remote this menu will pop up and click where it says thumbnail and see you'll start changing the views I actually like just the regular info view I'll show you why and to get rid of this menu I just clicked right on the remote okay and uh, see this this is a lot better because it just gives a you know just a list format and then on the right hand side it gives a picture and a description of what the add-on is you can see it's a lot less cluttered and I can see what's going on over here because there's so many add-ons in here okay now uh, the, even though there's all these add-ons I'm not going to sit here and show you all the add-ons but I'm going to show you a basic idea of how stuff works the main add-on that you guys are going to be using is the one channel add-on to use one channel just click on it this one channel allow you to watch just about every movie and TV show you can think of uh, most people just use one channel. All, there's a whole bunch of other add-ons too, but one channel is really the only one that you need. And uh, this is the first screen you'll see. Just press back. Okay, and it gets rid of that. And here's the screen for one channel. I also don't like this view right here. I'm going to change that to list view too. Okay, so you have movies, TV shows. Uh, if, we're, if you're looking for a movie, you go to the movie section. If you're looking for a TV show, go to the TV show section. So let's click on a movie, for example. The movie section has all these different options. Most people just use these two right here, either featured or search. Featured will give you the the latest movies that are out. Search will allow you to search for any movie that you can think of. So as you can see in here, it just loaded all the newest movies, and it, it goes from newest to oldest. So there's all kind of stuff. See, it even has Insidious in there already, all kind of stuff. If you go all the way down on the list, it'll just go the newest oldest if you go next page you just get older and older and older like I said this list up the updates just about every day so you always have new stuff to watch so for example let's click on insidious chapter 3 and uh, what happens when you click on a movie it basically goes on the net and finds as many links as it can for that movie um, see all these different links now there's so many because sometimes a link might not work or sometimes a link might be slow so it uh, just finds as you know just gathers as many as it can now one thing if you look on if you look on the, one thing if you look on the left hand side you'll notice that it says DVD that's just telling you the quality of the movie there's three different qualities of video quality there's DVD there's cam and there's TS DVD is going to be the clearest so I usually like to watch stuff in DVD quality if it's available now uh, in terms of links you see on the right hand side see it has the, the different name or each link has kind of a different name um, you may notice that on your internet connection some links work better for you than others so I would pay attention when you click links just the names of them I usually use B streams and move share for you it might be different ones that work better but uh, let's click B, B streams for example okay see and that easily started up now what's great about it is if I hold down the OK button it brings up this menu where I can pause the movie stop the movie fast forward the movie all kind of stuff so let's pause it see that I pause it let's play it again and also I can uh, click here and fast forward the movie 
and the more times I click fast forward the faster it's gonna fast forward for me if you look there's like four different fast forward speeds okay see at the top right hand corner says 8x that's how fast it's fast forwarding so I'm just gonna click oh I'm sorry actually accidentally press stop but that's how you stop it too now the other great thing watch this because I fast forwarded about one minute into the movie if you guys ever stop a movie or you know you have to go somewhere when you click on the movie again it'll resume from where you were see that all I have to do is press resume and click a link again and instead of having to go back to where I was in the movie or fast forward it it'll just start where I was and I was already one minute into the movie see that that's a cool little trick okay so uh, another cool trick if you press the mouse cursor the mouse cursor on the remote doesn't always work correctly but if you press it the mouse cursor looks like you press the mouse button on the remote looks like a little mouse and then uh, you can actually skip anywhere in the movie see that see that easy I could skip way to the end of the movie if I want to okay so that's that uh, another cool feature you can actually create your own digital movie collection by adding like movies to your favorites and to do that if you click on the button it looks like a piece of paper on your remote it's like right underneath the left arrow and the down arrow on your remote if you click that while you're on top of movie you'll bring up this menu and what you can do is go here and press add to favorites see that now when I did that let's go back remember this part where it said featured in search there's also a favorite section if you look on the bottom right -hand corner it says insidious added to favorites and if you go in here in my favorite section insidious is in there now so you got as many movies as you want to your favorites and watch them later or whatever and see you can also click on it again and press remove from favorites if you want so that's a cool feature that's also great for TV shows of course because you might wanna or you of course when you have a TV show you wanna go back back to it over and over again to watch the different episodes so you don't always have to search for it another cool feature if you uh, click on it if you press watch trailer you can also watch a movie trailer of any movie so let's try that and the first time you press watch a trailer it's gonna ask you to uh, set up you execute the setup wizard just press yes and um, just press list and list again and uh, language and reason it's gonna ask you if you want to adjust the language you just press no and um, that'll be the only time you have to do that and see that that easily it gives you a preview of the movie so that's pretty nifty you can watch a movie trailer of any movie that's in there see that I wish you, I wish you could answer me mom so that's pretty cool you can uh, watch trailers of the movies um, you don't understand now uh, if you go here to TV shows let me show you this TV shows works the same way as uh, the movie section but it's just for TV shows and like this time let's look at the search section I didn't show you the search option in the movie section but it works the same as it does in the TV show section so say for example I'm searching for a show like The Walking Dead just after you type it in press done and it'll start searching for it and uh, there's also a featured section in the TV show section however it may not be the TV shows that you want to watch or you know so I usually just search for my TV shows and see when you put Walking Dead in it finds all the Walking Dead stuff it can find okay so look right here it says the Walking Dead 2010 that's the one I'm looking for and uh, before I go on I'm just gonna click my menu option and add it to favorites because you know if you have a show you're gonna keep coming back okay and I'm gonna click on the show see it says Walking Dead added to favorites And give it a second to load and see what you're going to see is see it's going to have every season and episode of that show. So let's just click season five. That's amazing. It's like having the DVD box set. So you guys are in the game. This is a great box. Okay, after that happens, you want to go over here to uh, there's any link and see it has every season and episode. So I'm just going to click on a random episode. Okay. Okay and then you want to click on a random link which I'm doing okay you see that and the show loads right up okay so it's that easy folks I mean like I said that's just one add-on one channel uh, another add-on that I like using is um, and the next thing I want to show you guys uh, is how to watch live sports to watch live sports you just want to go to digital sports right here 
and then you want to go to uh, live sports and uh, you go over here to any of these I usually go to live tv.ru and if you're watching something that's good to know what time your game comes on like if you're watching a basketball game or a boxing match don't come in here and try to look at the times we'll go to now playing don't try to figure out the times from what it says in here just know what you're like maybe go to the websites of the games or the of the sport and figure out when it's coming on just click on here and click it because of these times are a lot of times off so I would even uh, try to uh, go by these times in here I'll just make sure I know the games on already and uh, that easy sports double works we know the abilities of what we can do with through his years within, years within the MLS. And that's, that's a bit of a mismatch. Anytime that CJ. Let me show you. It's one called Beetle. You guys could check all these out. There's all kind of stuff music videos, live stations. Just check it out. One channel. You guys will probably be stuck with one channel for a long time because it's a great thing. But uh, let's try out Beetle. I sometimes go to Beetle because it has some channels in it. I usually click on categories. Then I click. Uh, let me see. And I click on all. Okay. And see here, these are just channels made by people like me and you. They have movies on them, all kind of stuff. So, like, let's just click on one of these random channels. Now, these are on 24-7, so they're on whether you're watching them or not. You just come in if you want to watch something random. It works great. See that? Okay. And one thing, when you're watching these live channels like these or anything else, it fills up the memory fast so even just watching stuff in one channel fills up the memory fast so usually I come over here and uh, go to programs and program add-ons and I come in the maintenance tool and you guys want to do this probably every couple days go to maintenance tool and then I go to uh, general maintenance then I press clear catch that just erases the memory so in because if you don't do this, it says done clearing catch, I did it. If you don't do this every couple of days, your box will start running slower. So that's a very important to do as much as possible. And uh, step two, you click right here to exit. Just click the circle in the bottom left corner and press exit.